Good morning, everyone. Um, just a bit of an update. Work has been really cool. I only had one day, so it's been easy so far. Um, the people that I'm working with are really down to earth, really um, personable people. So that's been really huge. Um, I thank God for that. Uh, so today is actually um, the first event that I'm going to have to manage. So please just keep me in prayer. Um, the other ops manager will be with me, but even still, you know, you want to make a good impression. So yeah, keep me in prayer. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for all of you that have encouraged me yesterday to uh, just be courageous, you know, and to just go at it with all I have. And it's been really encouraging to read your comments and your messages. And thank you so much. Um, for today's thought, actually, it comes from James chapter 4, beginning from verse 13. And it reads like this, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. Today's thought is, um, is about making the most of today. James writes here that we are a vapor, right? In this version, he, um, ESV, it says mist. But in other versions, it says we are a vapor, here today, gone tomorrow. And one of the things that the Lord is really um, speaking into my life is to make the most of every moment, to, to be present in the now. Right. I mean, it's great that we plan and we have these five year plans, 10 year plans. We have aspirations of where we want to be. But today is what we have. Today is all that we have. Tomorrow is not promised and tomorrow has its worries. It has its own. Right. But today is is our opportunity to make the most. Right. God has prepared this moment for you. God has prepared this day for you. And so our encouragement this morning is, yeah, it's great to have plans. It's great to look to the future and to have goals and things to look forward to but don't neglect today don't give up today for a hope of tomorrow make the most of today so that it will uh, it'll be prosperous for us tomorrow so um for me today in you know having the event having work and all these things i want to make sure every moment that i have is used to the fullest to glorify god in every conversation in every um situation that I can find a way to make the most of it, you know, and one of the things I've been doing it in the commute to uh, work, read a book, you know, spend time in God's word or read um, a book. I just finished Wild at Heart by uh, John Eldridge. Great book um, for men out there. I really encourage it. It really challenges us as men um, how to be who God created us to be as men, you know, not what the society, what society or what social uh, things are expected of us, but what God expects of us. Um, and so I want to be more intentional about that, to spend more time reading and investing into myself, you know, to be the best person I can be. Um, and I don't know what that looks like for you. Maybe it's listening to an audiobook on the way to work, spending more time with um, God in prayer, you know, on your lunch break to have intentional conversations about what other people are actually going through and how you can present God and Christ into that situation. Whatever it is, remember, we are here today and gone tomorrow. And the gravity of that, sometimes we overlook it. We don't realize until someone has passed away too young and we're just like, man, life is too short. We shouldn't wait till that moment to think like that. We should be thinking like that every single day, that the life that we have is a gift from God and what we make of it, what we do with it, is a gift to God. And so we want to glorify God. We want to give a life that is worthy of the life he's given us, you know? And so, yeah, be encouraged by that and just, you know, really be intentional today. Have a great day, guys, and keep me in prayer, and I'll see you tomorrow.